can't think of a more pleasant way to spend the day. Her name is Maria Venetti, and we are getting on splendidly. No again, please! Maria is one of the instructors of Cortina, busy lady. So naturally, one has to make her feel wanted. You really must learn to keep your knees and ankles together. That's what parallel skiing's all about. It helps to keep a little off balance. That way she feels in control of the situation. Women need that. Something to do with their maternal instinct. No, not that way! Straighten up! Look out! Ah! Are you all right? Oh! Oh, now, that is much better. Why, you let go! You are holding me. Rule one, instructor-student relationships will be kept to a professional level at all times. Rule two, students will receive expert guidance in a wide variety of areas. Mm-hmm, areas of skiing. But, of course. Now, let's start with difficult situations encountered on the ski slope, shall we? Very well. First, you neutralize the problem. Then you take your ski sticks and take firm command of the situation. Ah. Aha! Reinforcements are about to arrive. Now, that could be a total stranger. That's Andre, my brother. I know his style anywhere. Good old Andre. He's not bad, I suppose. He's championship class. If only he'd work at it. It's no use, Maria. No use? What do you mean, no use? I'm sorry, but he's dead. He can't be. He couldn't just... He's been shot. From in those trees over there, I think. High-powered rifle telescopic sights. How do you know that? Look, just who are you? My name's Templar. Simon Templar. Miss Venetti, there will be an inquest. I will contact you with the details. Once again, my deepest sympathies. I'll buy you a drink and then we'll talk. About what? About who could have killed your brother. I've told the police all I know. Yes, I know. Thank you. He had no enemies, no problems. He was a happy-go-lucky, freewheeling ski nut who just happened, for no reason whatsoever, to get himself blown away by a high-powered rifle. But why? What was he into, Maria? What was he doing that put him in the way of a bullet? I'd like to help. Why? Because I don't like murder. If I knew why he was killed, you think I'd keep it a secret? No, not unless you were involved, somehow. Are you? Andre was expecting money. A great deal of money, $50,000. He said we could start our own ski school. Did he say where the money was coming from? No, but it had to be sent to Bear. He's been spending most of his time there. Any names? 
An American woman, Diana, Diana Lang. She formed some kind of ski circus, slalom, downhill, trick skiing. Kind of display team. Yes, but there had to be more to it. I mean, it would never pay $50,000. I asked Andre, but he just said. He said you never got anywhere if you didn't take a chance. Well, how was it? If you'd been any slower, you could have painted the poles on the way down. Again. Okay. I thought you said Harlem was going to work out. He will. Talk to him, Jan. Spell it out. That looks tricky. That's the idea. I don't want any excuses. So this time, make it good. Or what? Or she can get nasty. So can I. But she can't afford to lose anyone else after Vanetti. You better remind her about that. Oh, don't tell me. You're the Olympic squad. We have better things to do. Such as? Minding our own business. That is an air heart. So? So? Suppose he hurt. Oh, come on. What did we say? Nothing. I'd still like to know who he is. Who's that? He's asking questions. Then I shut him up. Was he now? Tell him to follow me down. Who the hell are you? I'm busy. Come back tomorrow. Who the hell are you? The person you're robbing. Diana Lang. Vanetti told me about you. Vanetti? He was quite impressed. I can see why. You'd better get out of here now. Only when I found what I'm looking for. Do I have to call the police? Well, I wouldn't advise it. Get out. Vanetti was right about one thing. You must be the best-looking crook in the business. You're a head case, you know that? So humor me. Trouble? Yeah, this joker needs a shrink. He really thinks he can walk in here and... Collect $25,000. That's half what you were paying Vanetti, my half. $25,000? Mm -hmm. Vanetti wasn't worth $2,500. He was worth enough for someone to kill him. And what is that supposed to mean? It's just an observation. Well, then make it to the police. But get out of here. I still haven't found Vanetti's locker. You won't. His gear was sent on this morning and it didn't include any money. She said out! Oh! 
Now, you ought to be more careful. So you still owe Vanetti the money? There was no money. I put something on that. Miss Lang, I'm not interested in your deal with Vanetti. All that matters to me is the $25,000 that he owed me. Now, I need it. You understand? Harlan. It's all right. I was just going. Look, if Benetti was getting that kind of money, it wasn't from me. If you want to commit suicide, do it on your own time. I don't think that guy got the message. And check him out. Find out what his connection with Renetti was. Yeah. Harlan, clean that locker out. What did you find? His name is Templer. Simon Templer. He arrived here this morning on holiday. What's wrong? Templer, huh? I know the name. What I don't know is the game. Good evening, Miss Cheval. The use of daiquiri. Thank you, Franz. Girls who drink daiquiri should never walk home alone. Congratulations. You just qualified. I feel warm all over. Mm. I'm recruiting for a party. Only interesting men with interesting names can come. Simon Templer. Miss Karen Cheval. Well, perhaps I might bring a friend. What a good idea. It's tomorrow night. It should be fun. I'll see you there. I just got you invited to a party. Oh. I hope I don't meet any boring people. I'll pass the word around. While I'm doing that, you can go to the bank tomorrow and draw out my money. I'll give it to you once more, Mr. Templer. I don't give handouts to you or Benetti. Is that what you told him yesterday? Now, you've all used these, so we don't want any foul-ups. Jan will lead, and the rest of you follow at five-second intervals. Okay, keep it tight and get a good rhythm. You'll need it in the trees. Rawson. Erhard. Eric. Harlan, go. Busy little bees, aren't you? Don't you ever give up? Not when people owe me money. Are you planning on breaking a few legs? Don't tempt me. Huh? Now, why would you be practicing with stretchers? Because they haven't yet designed an ambulance that can get up and down mountains. We're a display team, remember? And here was I thinking it was all a cover for something else. Huh. Just like your ski bum image. I've heard all about you, Templar. Uh, who from? My friends are my enemies. Hmm, you don't have any friends. You're a one-man band, and nobody ever seems to know which side of the law you're on. It is confusing, isn't it? Hard to say. I was just shushing along, minding my own business. He appeared out of nowhere. You knew we were using this slope. I think you ought to help your friend. That could come in useful. I think he's broken his leg. Get him out of there.
broken leg, huh? Too bad it wasn't his neck. Without Harland on the motor, we can kiss five million dollars goodbye. Easy come, easy go. Well, what about you? <laughs> you must be dreaming. A rifle is one thing, a motor is something completely different. If I hit the wrong spot, it could wipe us all out. So, it's a chance. <laughs> Have you never seen an avalanche? Have you any idea of the forces involved? It's a very permanent thing. So is five million. I thought you would. Handy little things, aren't they? Two inch, heavy load, carries quite a punch. Careful with that. If you drop it. These things don't go off unless they hit the firing pin. That reminds me, how are you planning to use it? Well, we could always start with you. I thought you started with Vanetti. What's your angle? You want us to bleed or something? Yep. 25,000 times. Then I'll move on. Oh, but there's no hurry. But I get so easily bored. You're a very interesting man. You're a very discerning lady. You do that very well. I practice. That will excuse me, duty calls. Uh... How much do you know about those? Enough. I was trained by a profession. There might be a way to pay you off, if you can use a mortar accurately. I'm accurate. I'm also careful. Why don't we talk about it? I can make you a very attractive proposition. There's a problem. You see, the only thing I'm interested in is $25,000. See you at the party. Didn't everybody? Mm, let's dance. Come hey, on. hey, not so energetic. Oh. He's trouble. Handle him. Like we did Vanetti. He got religion. Templar, he knows too much. Should have stuck to skiing. Worst thing that happens is you break a leg. Three times. You were through, Jan. Everybody else knew it. Still a long way from murder. So close, we'll work it out. How? You tell me how? First handle Templar. Then if we can't find a way, we just pull out. One of us has to do it, Yen. Do you want it to be me? I'll have to circulate. Full circle. All the way back to go. Did you hear from Maria? Yeah, she called yesterday from Milan. The funeral's tomorrow. Yeah. The combination of my safe is... No, no. No, don't tell me. I like to keep you in practice. Simon? Yes? Please. These are bad people. Please be careful. I don't want you to end up like Andre. Oh, come on. Losing a lover's bad enough. I don't want to lose a good friend. You're a nice lady. Enjoy your party. Go on.
Against the wall. Fingertips only. Ah, and don't even think of playing the games. Beautiful. Well, you know how it is. I just happen to be passing. Yes. Well, you're very nearly passed on. But this changes everything. <laughs> Does indeed. Oh, it's lovely, Simon. And so thoughtful of you. I'm glad to hear it. Now, if you'll hand it over, I'll be on my way. Where? Zurich. There's a little gnome there who'll pay at least 25000 for that. And as we all know, I am in urgent need. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I couldn't possibly part with such a beautiful piece as this. Unless, of course, you do me a little favor. Your back is itching. Mm-hmm, terribly. Scratch it for me, and you'll get this back, and 100,000. We need a mortar man. And you're the only one in town. like a team now. Okay, let's try it with the pods fully loaded. Hey, look, we can imagine the real weight. You can, Erhard, I can't. 200 kilos each. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, tomorrow is for real. So let us get it right now. Come on, let's go. Why the stretchers? Can you think of a better way of carrying something over snow fast? 200 kilos or something? Mm-hmm. What we have in mind is heavy, but compact. I suppose I can rule out lead. Oh, by the way, this is your last run. You're going out with Corvus this afternoon. Anything special? Clear about the target. I don't want any excuses afterwards. Now, there is only one rock with a dead tree on it, 12 o'clock. OK, so I hit it. You know, if I was a suspicious type, I might think you expected me to miss. You did, but it was near enough. Near enough for what? Avalanches. Tomorrow you're going to start two of them. Now, nobody plays with avalanches. They have a nasty habit of falling on people. So bring a shovel. operation is speed. The cross-country route from this area down into Switzerland is 30 kilometers. By road, it's 100. We can be over the border before they know what it's all about. It's tricky country if we got bogged down. Jan and I have skied it a dozen times. I'll be leaving ahead of you, traveling light. And I'll be planting one of these every kilometer. Signposts all the way. And make sure you follow them. Now, there is a station wagon and a buyer for the gold waiting for us in Zurich. Every step of the way is planned. And with luck, we can all be paid off before the Italian police even know there's been a robbery. We'll rendezvous here at 0800 hours. Something's still worrying you. It's too easy. The best jobs always are. And now for the robbery itself. We'll all arrive here in the minibus with the sledges. Hello? Is Mr. Templer back at the hotel yet? 
No, I can't leave a message. You're sure he's not back? Quite sure. Mr. Temple has been out all day. If I could have your name. Wait a minute. Mr. Temple is just coming. Mr. Templer, telephone. I'll see you in the bar. Uh-uh. I'll wait. Huh? Simon Templer. Simon, I found something out. I think it's important. I'm very glad to hear it, but now is not a very good time. You can't talk. Look, I must see you. If I leave Milan now, I could be at the hotel about midnight. That sounds fine. Where do you park? The hotel car park. Can you meet me there? Mm, no trouble at all. Goodbye. Who is that? Ah, curiosity kills all kinds of cats. Come on, let's have that drink. Uh, scotch and ice and... Whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. Phone calls are out, Templar. Oh, you are a suspicious lady, aren't you? It's the only way to survive. Yes, yeah, true. You briefed us as though you've been doing it all your life. I had a very good teacher. He used to say that pulling a caper was like using a parachute. You've got to get it right first time. Is your teacher still around? He jumped once too often in L.A. They blew him all to pieces with elephant guns. And that taught me the final lesson. When in doubt, shoot. And uh, you had doubts about Vanetti? I have doubts about you sometime. So shoot me. Which means that somebody should keep an eye on you tonight. Do I get to choose who? Corvus has already volunteered. Oh, I think that's an absolutely horrible idea. I've got a much better one. Room 206. Jan? Diana. I'm afraid we were wrong about Templar. I thought you'd never come. Yes, it's been one of those nights. It still is. We don't have much time. When I got back to Milan, I found that Andre quit his job at the bank a month ago. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why didn't he tell me he needed that job? He worked in a bank? Yes. He was and doing he... very well in charge of the bullion transports. They make regular trips from Switzerland and Andre. Just a minute, Maria. Why on earth didn't you tell me this before? What has skiing got to do with banks? All right, now, look, I want you to get out of here as fast as you can and then phone Andre's bank. Tell them that tomorrow's bullion delivery is going to be hijacked about 100 kilometres away from the border. You got that? Yes, but... I... Just, just do it. I'm sorry, I'll explain tomorrow. Uh, excuse me, are you a taxi? No, I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Oh, no, you're not, Miss Vanetti. You're not in a hurry at all. Oh, 
All set, Miss Lang. You drive. Oh, I was planning on taking a nap. Well, you shouldn't keep such late nights. I thought we were waiting for Mr. Corvus. He's coming now. Who's the passenger? A little addition to our plan. A kind of insurance. The road is that way. We are edgy this morning, aren't we? Yeah, I had a very restless night. I'm a light sleeper. So is Templar. He loves wandering around parking lots in the middle of the night, meeting girls. ride up through the pass. Then how far? About 15 minutes. We're right on schedule. Never doubted it for a minute. Stop around the next bend. Weather's closing in, we'll really have to move. Okay, cover your faces. Kerlick, you watch the road. Darling, let's see how good you are. He's seen it. It's coming now. Come on, move it. Hey, you, you don't move. And hey, you don't get any ideas, okay? See the overhang, about halfway up the slope beyond that outcrop? I hope you're right about this avalanche. I know what I'm doing. It's got to fall away from us. Ready? As I'll ever be. Both got ten out of ten. Keep watching. How long? Five minutes, no more. You follow the road round the bend. Walk about a hundred meters until you can see a ravine running down the side of the mountain. You fire over the ravine to bring the slope down on the far side as soon as the truck has passed. You mean you won't be holding my hand? This is where I say goodbye, Simon. It was fun, but you know how it is. When in doubt. Exactly. No mistake, Simon. Right? <laughs> Diana, break your leg.
You do it right, and you stand a chance. And the girl? Her too. If that avalanche doesn't come down on time, she gets it. Move. Will he do it? He's got to. Going swimmingly, isn't it? For some. Back with the girl. Where are the guards? Over there. They use gas. It's going to get nasty soon. There'll be one chance. When it comes, you run and you keep running. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Off. What happens to them? What do you think happens to them? They know where we're going. They know who we are. They know what we've done. What the hell do you think happens to them? Go on, off. She left you to do the dirty work, Mr. Corvus. I wonder why. You don't have to. It was my idea. And Vanetti, was that your idea too? He had a... a row. He wanted to pull out. It never occurred to him that he couldn't. So you killed him? In cold blood? There was no other way. For oh, God's sake. <laughs> I told you to run. I know. Do you know this area at all? Yes, there's a village about five kilometers from here, but without keys. Look, I'm sorry about this. Do you people have a radio in the camp? Mm -hmm. They yeah. smashed it. Oh, that's marvelous. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't you carry a set of skis for emergencies? Yes, it is a regulation. Uh -huh. Thank God for the regulations. Where are they? Inside, above the spade wheel. But, Simon, you can't do anything now. Now, think about it. They've got to cope with the sledges, and I don't. Besides, I've got 30 kilometers to catch up with them. But they've got guns. They'll kill you. It's also one of the most dangerous runs in Switzerland. Could you ski it? Yes. It can't be that bad. Why, you? You can't even do a parallel turn. Yeah. What's a parallel turn? Simon, what are you doing? Oh, yes. There is just one thing. 
Look, let me go. When you want to change direction, which way do the knees go? Simon, will you take off those skis? Later. <gasps> what do you worry about? He's a fantastic skier. Hmm. He's also a fantastic liar. the others? It's a good question. Let me have your gun. He took care of Templar, yeah? He get moving. Should have known it. When in doubt. Only this time you're on your own. All of them? Scattered along the way. I do strongly advise you to put that down. Oh, I never realized it before. You're a comedian. <coughs> I'm afraid, Miss Lang, it looks to me as though you've broken something. Apart from the law, that is. Nothing broken, just had the window down. Come on, help me out. You sure? Positive. Oh! Where's it hurt? Oh, my back. Oh, oh. there? Mm. And what about there? Mm. Right. Now, the first thing to do is 
neutralize the problem. Mm. Mm. And the next thing to do is take command of the situation.